Okay, this is a critical phase. This is the meatballs. Now, um, I don't think sausage cooks as fast as ground beef does, so I pre-cook my sausage. Uh, this is the Johnsonville Sweet Italian Sausage. Save just a little bit for something else. This is about four pounds of ground beef and sausage. Um, like I said, after I make the meatballs, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in the oven and cook for a little bit, and then I'm gonna add a, a um, put them in the slow cooker. So. Um, this is a whole sleeve of crackers. Smashed up with the rolling pin. I use Lee and Perrin Oyster Cider Sauce. I also use a steak sauce similar to Heinz 57 for flavor. We're going to throw some Italian style Progresso breadcrumbs on top of that. Four eggs. I usually gauge one egg per pound of ground beef. The egg is a binder, it brings everything together. Okay, and then last but not least, I shouldn't even have those on there. Fresh Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Now I've already washed my hands before I started this. So here's where it gets fun. Once I get my hands in there, I can't take them out. I can smell all the flavors coming together, the steak sauce, the Italian sausage. Oh, and if you notice, after I did the two pounds of Italian sausage, I tilted the pan so it would drain the oil. I didn't add any of the oil that was cooked. Some people think that's flavor, I think that's fat. So, these are going to be as healthy as I can make them. See, now you can see things are starting to mix together better. Okay, and then once you have everything all mixed up real nice, then you can start 
rolling meatballs. I'm going to make them all about that size. And you get the idea how that works.